Welcome to what feels like Mobile World Congress 1999. Nokia is announcing a brand new third free 10, again, and his big highlight is the game Snake, again. So being responsible journalists that we are, the first thing we did here at MWC 2017 was come over here to play Snake all over again. All right, so let me tell you about the Nokia 3310 itself. It's, it's a really cute, really cool phone. It isn't identical to the original 3310, but I'm not sure that everybody wanted an identical phone. It's nice to have it as a throwback. The first thing I notice is this isn't the classic Nokia Snake, which I think we all know is dead and buried and never going to come back again, I guess. Uh, it has a whole bunch of I don't know, I think it feels more like a remix of Snake. I mean, this is a survival horror game where you're a snake eating apples but going through the levels and stuff. And it kind of runs counter to the whole idea of the 3310 being a return to the dumb slash feature phone experience because the thing that makes the 3310 so popular today is that it doesn't have all the smart features, right? So I would rather just have a monochrome snake without any of these graphics, without any of these simulated levels and walls and things like that. I must say the apples on the screen are actually really cool because they're really pixelated in a cool way. And maybe that's just nostalgia speaking. I think there's going to be a lot of nostalgia speaking around these 3310 phones, which are just super basic. I mean, everybody could make these, but the fact that they're Nokias and they're cold Nokias just invokes so many memories for people. I mean, so many people would have grown up just texting and calling and playing Snake on the 3310. And the big power up in this game is the scissors, which slow you down and cut you. Which in this game, weirdly enough, is a good thing. So this survival mode is actually the one that feels most faithful to the original Snake. Even though it looks so different uh, and it doesn't work the same way, it does the general thing of accelerating your speed and increasing your length as you go along. Uh, they do try to spice it up with these extra explosions and things showing up on the screen, but the biggest threat to your survival is generally yourself. But you know, I'm actually enjoying this. Like, forget all those extra levels and, you know, 10 second run throughs. I don't care for them, but just a classic survival mode with these silly power-ups and uh, bombs that you're supposed to avoid and things. I like it. You know, this 3310 can do other things besides just playing Snake. It has a calculator, and it works. It has a camera that's actually quite terrible, but it's awful in a nice way in that you always know it's being taken with your 3310. So you can think of it as like a signature filter. And there's a V power up, which does, ooh, it's like a magnet for apples. That's cool. For the lazy apple devourer out there. I need those scissors to survive. There we go. So honestly, if, the, if I have any reservation about Snake, this version of Snake, it is the whole idea that, oh crap, they're just putting up walls and things. It's this whole idea that you have to cut yourself to keep going. It's just not really good life advice, I have to say. Don't run around chasing for scissors, guys. Not even for Snake. So obviously this isn't the Snake that we all loved and grew up with. It's different. It's more colorful. It's fatter. <laughs> it takes corners in different ways. Uh, but still, just like the 3310, it's just silly and fun and just extremely hard not to like or even love. It's a bit of nostalgia. And at a show like MWC where it's all future talk, it's all 5G and metal devices and super fast processors and etc. and vast screens, it's nice to just have something old and familiar. Ready? <laughs>